Guys, it's 4.42 and I'm going on a road trip. I know she's gonna miss me. It's like a long time that I'm traveling without her, but I'm just gonna be back tomorrow. Me and the boys just taking a road trip to Cape Coast. So I kind of give you guys updates or whatever happens. Hmm? I'll call you. Text you. I'm not much of a cash person, but I can tell you for a fact that if you're traveling around here in Africa, especially like in Ghana, you might need like some cash on you. A lot of it though. Now we got some cash on us. I might have to do a stopover to get some fuel, then we're set for the road. It's gonna be a, a very interesting one. All right, hang on tight, I'll show you everything. I'm vapor, four tank. Like I told you guys, to be on the safer side, if you're traveling, you gotta like make sure all your fuel is like really filled so that you don't really like meet up any inconvenience. So that's basically what I'm doing, just getting my fuel filled and then try and check my tires as well. It's still very early in the morning though. Yo, 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 the birthday man. <laughs> See the way you're doing this? <laughs> like, you don't make it ready for me. Like, you don't make it ready. You don't make it give us some fuel. Five minutes. This is okay. Yeah, yeah. So, we are, we are going to uh -huh. go to chill out, you know? Yes. That's the yeah, birthday. That's the birthday, boy. We are going to chill in Cape Coast. A <laughs> night away from. They heated Accra. Yes. And the stress in Accra. That has been a possible yes. stress. <laughs> Away from BTC. <laughs> <laughs> and the BTC are here on Yenwa Via. No, no, no. It's not a monetary. BTC, monetary and evaluation. We don't jump in. BTC, they are kind of you know building so if you're not familiar with Cape Coast it's just you looking at Cape Coast and the birthday boy is here yeah you know what it is <laughs> yeah you have to even get down on it you know <laughs> we're in freaking Cape Coast where you doing bro Jesus Bulu has yo Drip God, can you drip? Yo, yo. I'm doing a little vlog for my YouTube though. You are. Mm -hmm. Are you like students? Do I like to dance? Are you like students? Um, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Not anymore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you're driving, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything good, bro. Did uh, they uh, fly drones? Oh, no. Oh, you know they fly. Okay. Oh, yeah. You pay BS pet for you. No, yeah, no, yeah. fly them like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I say be here when they come. The other, the other side, I hear say be like small. Yeah, small. yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Van. What's your name? Solomon. Solomon. Van. Hello. Hi. Alright. Basically, in. Elmina Castle. Initially, I thought we would even go to Cape Coast Castle, but we ended up coming to Elmina. Apparently, here is like the dopest and then like well endowed castle that has got like all the historian things going on. I've never been here before though, so this is like my first experience here. I get to experience and see everything with you guys. Uh, this is an area view of Elmina Township. It is a fishing community. There is a river here called River Benya. It entered the sea here. This is Fort St. Jago, built by the Dutch in 1665, and the land here was full of gold. So in the 16th century, that was 1500, Portuguese converted the tree into slavery. They lived here for 155 years. 1637, they were captured by the Dutch. Portuguese passed a new law called Regimento Law, which was not in the favor of the local people. The law said that if you trade with any other European, or from the Portuguese, one of your ears will be cut off. Gates here, it's original from Portugal. Here is well ventilated. <laughs> so, this is one for the foreigners. It was designed for the European soldiers yeah. who misbehaved. They moved from here to town without permission and authority. They took alcohol, a pill, got drunk. When they returned, they went to the female slaves, beating them. Ripping them. When the officers caught them, they put them here for a few hours and released as punishment. Daddy, I'll sleep. They started. I did it last year. They lock you. <laughs> Let me ask you to get that too. I'll be the last one. I'll be the last one. I'll tell you. This one here. And it's for the box. You can start it playing with the car. So that's in the air. Yeah. 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 It's <laughs> young, <laughs> 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 many, many people died here. Uh, they lifted the bodies, tied stones here, threw into the sea. And those slaves came from Ghana here. There's a village here we call Cromante, always fighting. In the Americas and the Caribbean, they call them Cromante Negros, the Maroons. So you are going to be here for 20 minutes before you continue. Check the time for your <laughs> <laughs> Let them dead bury the dead. <laughs> Let them dead bury the Take your time. Let's go. Watch your head. <laughs> I think the last time I came, this was there a bar here of the whole time. Oh, it was open because I was able to go in and take a picture. That was like back in like 20, 2009 or so. 
I thought it was like quite a distance, but looking at this, it doesn't look like it's quite far, though. <laughs> <laughs> Point of view return. This was called Guinea Forest, and then we changed the name from the Guinea Forest to Kakum. So we have 11 rivers in this forest. 11 rivers. So we are using the biggest river to name the path, and the river's name is River Kakum. Mm -hmm. When people come here, they want to see a lot of animals. They brought a lot of them here. <laughs> ready, ready, <laughs> ready to conquer Kakum, man. <laughs> Yeah, you go on your right. When you are down for your picture, you keep going. Uh, you know, you know. <laughs> the short one is just a stick like this. You didn't rock it. You want to chill with a big boy? Hey! <laughs> Yo! King, come on. <laughs> so we're currently on the Kakum. Canopy walkway. <laughs> hey, come on. Wait, you drew first one and I'm just a bag in the way. Wait, dear. They need double hands. I try small. No lunch, no breakfast, no dinner, nothing. Come on. So yeah, now we're on the move. Day two, day one we ran through Elmina, went to, um, what's the name, Kakum. Day two, we're trying to go to Takrade, perhaps go to other places. And then end our day at Legon Botanical Garden. Shout outs to Wadamaya, we're celebrating Loki 1 million subscribers. I mean, we all know that it's not an easy journey. We're featuring Wadamaya in this episode. A Joe Trader, we are featuring yes. Wadamaya and a Joe, Joe Trader. Trader. Yes. Subscribe to my channel. Yes. I'm a baby in this game. Yes. Help me grow teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's yeah, coming. Bro. Coming wild like fire. Easy, easy. <laughs> 
Easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Easy on the drip. <laughs> so currently we're just going to have our breakfast this morning. We don't know what they have on their menu. But this is more like a breakfast on the sea-ish. You know, because the sea is just right there. And then the restaurant is just that building right there so we're just gonna pass here get in front there go have some breakfast and then hit straight on the road we're not trying to waste any time at all because there's more activities for us to do before the day ends peace out so what are we doing are we doing a breakfast on the beach <laughs> Now this is our breakfast day. Some pinch of Brazilian green. <laughs> so we are on our way now, leaving Coconut Grove. This is the West Side Boys. They already be living the beach life. So this is not new to them. It's a regular day in their life. You know the vibes. <laughs> so yeah, we're hitting the road now. We're checking out and then going to second D, the naval base, see a few a few friends, few colleagues who used to be in the military with us and then head back to Accra.